Hello and welcome to another video from me, John Cunningham, on the Future Ears. It's been a week or so since I last updated you and I thought it was high time that I came along with another update. Today I want to update you on two main things. That is the conversations that I've been having with schools so far and a little update on the Future Ears why. So, um, where shall I start? Well, let's start with the conversations that I've been having with schools. As you may or may not know, it's been about three weeks now since I started my initial outreach to schools. And so far, I've had about nine discussions, I would say, with different schools. So, you know, uh, I'm not saying that's a runaway success, but it's early days. And certainly what is encouraging is every school that I've spoken to, to so far has seen a need for the work that the Future Nears does and wants to engage in some sort of program with us at some point in the future. I thought what I'd do is share some of those programs to give you an idea of the sorts of things that we're talking about. And hopefully um, there might be some stuff in there that you can help with, or there might be someone that you know uh, who is able to help with one of them. The first thing, and this is a program that I've already started on, is developing a small business program and a, developing a business incubator for a small school. So what that means is we're trying to get some space in a local business centre, um, free of charge, um, for us to bring in the school and hopefully other schools in the future, expose them to the world of business and introduce them to different business people who can give them their take on what it takes to start a business, be employed in a business, grow a business and so on. So that's something that's live now. I'm already in discussion with a number of business centres across Maidstone and Kings Hill, and I'm hoping that one of those is going to come through for us and provide us with a nice little space for uh, 12 months or so, um, hopefully with no charge. Hopefully they're happy to invest in their uh, future generation. And uh, also, you know, if these kids in the near future go on and uh, do start a business, the first place they're probably going to look is the uh, incubator uh, space. Um, there's a lot of other conversations going on as well, and I'm just going to share some of those. I'm just going to run through the program and you'll start to see some themes. So first off um, was that one. Next, uh, we're discussing a program to share entrepreneurial skills, experience and perspectives from business owners. So it's kind of similar, but it's about talking about entrepreneurial skills, what it starts to take a business, things that help you get on, um, asking, you know, we want this to be really engaging so asking the kids what they think talking to business owners getting them to speak to them and asking them questions all that stuff another thing that's come up uh, a few times now is um kids that have been excluded from lessons or are disengaged with schools i've got two uh two different targeted programs that i'm uh, in discussion with schools about at the moment uh in regards to re-engaging the kids that they have that are currently excluded from lessons. Now I can empathise, I was one of those children um, many years ago when I still had hair and um, I know what that's like. I didn't have a beautifully furnished room dedica dedicated to uh, all the excluded children. I had to stand outside in corridors or occasionally I'd be given a nice soft comfy seat outside the head teacher's office. Um, I've got lots to say about this. Uh, I don't think now is the time or the place, um, but I'm sure I'll put a video up soon that will go into this in more detail because I find myself talking about it more freely. Um, next up, we're talking about running a six week entrepreneurship program to develop business ideas and propositions. Now this particular um, uh, school aren't looking to create businesses that will, that will then actually the kids will then actually try and sell their products or services but they want to get them to the point where they perhaps have those ideas reviewed by local entrepreneurs so that could be quite interesting we're also talking to another school about a program to inspire autistic children um, we're hoping to get some people that can share real life experience of being in employment or business and the journey and the challenges that they've faced along the way to give those kids some um hope and confidence that autism isn't going to hold them back in terms of achieving what they want we're do doing a similar program uh, or, or talking about a similar program rather it's not it's not confirmed yet for visually impaired and hearing impaired children again if you're autistic and you're in business if you're or, or autistic and you're employed um if you're visually impaired 
um, if you have a hearing impairment and you can share real life experience about being in business or being employed and the kind of uh, some of the hurdles you've had to jump, then uh, please do get in touch either via the contact details on YouTube or thefuturenears.com or find me on LinkedIn. I'm normally there bleating on about something or other. Uh, the next thing is a program to help students develop, start and actually market a business. This is a really cool school. I love what they're doing. They really want to actually get the kids to start a business, put it out into the community, see whether they can sell their products and services. I love it. I'm excited by it. And I'm hopeful that we'll be able to get that going sooner rather than later. Um, I'm also in conversation with another school about engaging content for an enterprise day. So trying to get content that's going to really grab the attention of the students. I'm talking to another school about a program to promote sort of self-reflection, um, awareness of their own skills, uh, the kids' own skills, uh, self-confidence, and then more practical skills um, around job seeking and reaching out to the jobs market. Uh, and then finally, um, we've, we're talking about a program that would give students real world work and industry experience. So you can see there's 11, well, 10 different programs there that I'm talking about. Um, or 11 and one that I'm already running. So it's really encouraging. The next phase is to get some of these kicked off. The next phase after that is to come up with some case studies and some proofs. And then we're going to be looking for some sort of um, sponsorship from forward thinking businesses that want to support schools and young people in their community are happy to receive the PR um, that goes alongside that. And, um, you know, they might even be able to provide mentors who can help these kids as they go along the next few years of their lives. So that is seven minutes on schools. The next thing I was going to talk to you about, uh, if you're still here, <laughs> is um, our why. I think I'd kind of dumbed down our why somewhat to try and appeal to more people. And I think maybe that was a mistake. The more I speak to schools, the more I realise that the thing that I'm most passionate about is helping those that aren't getting along well in the traditional education system. Sure, I'd love to expose people to entrepreneurship and different skills um, and life skills without a doubt. I'm happy to share all of that knowledge with as many people as I can. But the ones that I'm most passionate about are the ones who are the square pegs in the round holes, the one who are the ones who are slipping through the gaps, the one the ones who, if we don't put in these programs, are at risk of falling out of their current education setting and ending up somewhere else. So um, our why uh, has been adapted accordingly, and that is on our website. Again, I'd welcome, as I say, said last week, and as I say probably every week, I would love your comments um, on that either here on the video or find me on LinkedIn. Uh, I'm sure I'll be posting about it at some point. Well, there we go. That's 8 minutes 15. This is the third attempt I've made at this video today. The first one had no volume. The second one, some random music started playing from one of my various devices halfway through the recording. So if I look jaded and tired, I apologise. That's why. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And uh, please like if you if you if you like what I've said, um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and click the notification button, because I understand that notifications aren't coming through to people otherwise. And uh, I look forward to recording another video and uh, sort of seeing you, although you'll see me, in fact, very soon. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye bye.